Hi guys, welcome. Dan here from the Magic Junk Drawer. And I know that I made a video about this not that long ago, but I feel like I have to address it again because the situation has come up again where people are being told that they have some kind of a negative energy around them or they have like a negative, um, it could be a negative spirit, it could be uh, somebody who's wishing them bad. And these people are being told that they need to have some kind of crazy work done that usually costs a fortune to have this removed, otherwise they will never be happy. If somebody tells you this, it is not true. So here's, here's where things get a little bit confusing for people. If you're going through a bad time and just like you know, like one bad thing happens, another bad thing happens, and the snowball starts to grow bigger and bigger. And you start to think, I have the worst luck. Nothing good ever happens to me. And then you go and you see somebody who tells you that. Oh, nothing is ever going to go right for you because you've got, uh, you've got a demon stuck to you. Whatever. Now you're starting to, your rational mind is starting to try to make sense of why all these bad things are happening. So you're like, oh, well, that must be it. And then you get emotional and you think, well, no matter what it costs, I need to have this removed. Otherwise, I'm never going to be happy. And life is not worth living if you're going to be miserable. And this isn't true. The fact of the matter is, one of the reasons why I loved astrology so much was because there I found reasons. So in studying astrology, I was able to um, learn enough where I could see, oh, I have this tough aspect coming in, but it's going to pass by May, and in May things will start to look better. And it was kind of like a way for me to reason why bad things were happening or why things weren't going my way. I have I probably started seeing psychics and intuitives and card readers I probably around the time I was 12 or 13 and when I tell you I've seen them all I've seen them all I've seen them all so in order to impress me you've got to give me something that nobody else could ever know now there have only been a handful of people that have ever done this not even a handful of people maybe there were two or three people one man I spoke to on the phone who I don't believe that there was any way for him to research me because I don't think he had the correct spelling of my name. I don't think he knew my last name. I don't think I'm real easy to find because I have, like, my, my last name is sort of funny. But one thing that he said to me was, you have a dog in the spirit world that is absolutely crazy. She thinks that you're her mother and she won't leave you alone. He said she's got very funny eyes. They're like a bluish gray. And then he said to me, he goes, I think this dog is a Weimaraner. Well, I had a Weimaraner. And I don't know how many people in this world have Weimaraners, but it's very unusual. <laughs> they're very crazy dogs. <laughs> they're beautiful. They're lovable. They're a great companion, but they're nuts. So you have to have, you have to be a certain type of person to put up with the Weimaraner. Um, so that was pretty impressive. And then the other person is the woman that I still see now. I was going to a cafe in a town near where I live, me and my friends, like we would go every now and again, like maybe once every three months, and there was a list of readers, and everybody's price was $35 for 20 minutes. One woman was 75, and we were always very interested in why was one person $75 and everybody else was 35. She was never there any time we went. And it wasn't anything like, you didn't make an appointment at this place, you just kind of wandered in. So I was satisfied, we were all satisfied seeing the same woman that was always there, and she, we thought she was good. And then one day the place just wasn't there anymore. So years had gone by and I hadn't seen anybody. And then one day, I, rem I just remember that I was going through a really bad fight with my boyfriend at the time and I was driving down one of these streets and it was raining it was pouring and it was just like such a miserable night and I was alone and I saw a sign and I was like oh damn they didn't close they moved it was on the other side of town 
So I pulled in, and this woman had no way of knowing I was coming. I had no idea I was coming. I mean, I just happened to drive past it, and I was like, oh, damn, there it is. So I pulled in, and she just happened to be there that night. Now, in all the years that I'd been going to the place that was on the other side of the road or whatever, the other side of the town, she had never been there. There was nobody in the place. It was just me. I walked in there, and we went into the little room. The first thing she said to me before she even shuffled any cards before I don't even think she knew my name she said to me who's Tom is that your boyfriend and that and that's when I was like okay shit now I know why she's more expensive because that was his name so from that point on like I left that night and I called my friend who I used to go with and I was like you got to see this woman and I told her what happened I also happened to be wearing one of my mother's rings and she asked me and something about my mother came up she knew that she was dead she when I handed her the ring she said of oh, this ring feels broken your mother was divorced this woman could not have known me I mean I didn't know I was going and for years she never knew my last name I never paid her by check I always paid in cash she didn't even know how to spell my name I never you know she there was no way that she could possibly have researched anything on me so those are the people that impress me. Now, tarot card readers, tarot card readers are wonderful, but they're not going to give you specific names. They're not gonna give you places. They're not gonna give you um, street signs or avenues, and that's okay. But if sometimes you just need someone to talk to and a tarot card reader is fine. You know, you pay somebody an average price, you know, something like, reasonable if somebody is asking you for hundreds of dollars to do some kind of work on you to remove some kind of a hex or a spell or some kind of crop it's not true what you need to do seriously there are so many things sage crystals I don't have any oh here I have a salt crystal here this is Himalayan salt from the salt lamps they're not that expensive Himalayan salt, you buy it at the freaking grocery store. Take a bath with it, it will absorb negativity. There is nothing on you. Nobody is wishing you anything that bad that you need to spend this kind of crazy money on. And I think that it's pretty disgusting that people do that to people that are going through a hard time, that are willing to spend their last dime for peace of mind. So just keep it in mind. Just keep it in mind that if somebody says to you, you've been cursed, you sat by a dead tree, it gave you a bad aura. I was told this. Um, somebody, and you will never be happy. It's not true. It's not true. That's not true. So don't even entertain it. Walk away. All right, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.